Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter two of our enchanting tale. Tonight, we're diving into a potluck dinner that's more than just a feast. It's a cauldron of emotions and magic. Picture this. The evening air is thick with excitement and the rich aromas of culinary masterpieces. At one end of the table stands a figure with fiery red hair, her robes shimmering with mystical symbols. She's prepared a dish as bold as her personality, ready to ignite the senses. Across from her, a gentle soul with wavy brown hair offers a calming stew, a reflection of his serene nature. But oh, the night is young, and the drama is just beginning. Buckle up, because this is going to be one unforgettable evening. The evening of the potluck arrived with a palpable excitement that danced in the air, mingling with the rich aromas wafting from the beautifully adorned table. Alara stood at one end, her long, fiery red hair cascading like a waterfall of flames, while her vibrant robes shimmered with symbols of her craft. She had prepared a dish that was as bold as her personality, a spicy concoction of roasted peppers and herbs, each bite igniting the senses. Across from her, Finian, with his soft, wavy brown hair and warm hazel eyes, presented his calming herb-infused stew, a dish that mirrored his gentle nature. The contrast was stark, Yet it was this very difference that set the stage for the evening's unfolding drama. As the friends gathered around the table, laughter bubbled up, but beneath the surface, tension simmered. Alara's eyes sparkled with determination, yet a flicker of insecurity danced within them. She felt the weight of her family's culinary legacy pressing down, a reminder of the expectations she struggled to meet. Finian, sensing the charged atmosphere, attempted to lighten the mood with a gentle joke, but Alara's fiery temperament flared. You think your dish is going to win over mine? She challenged, her voice laced with playful defiance. Finian's calm demeanor faltered, and he replied, It's not a competition, Alara. We're here to celebrate our differences, not to overshadow one another. The words hung in the air, heavy with unspoken feelings. Leora, with her wild, Curly hair shimmering in the candlelight, interjected, her adventurous spirit igniting the conversation further. Why not let the dishes speak for themselves? She suggested, her bright eyes glinting with mischief. But the argument escalated, exposing insecurities that had long been buried. Alara felt undervalued, while Finian's fear of conflict bubbled to the surface, leading to a confrontation that threatened to unravel the evening. Jasper, the charismatic diplomat, watched with concern, his neatly styled dark hair reflecting the flickering candlelight. He stepped in, attempting to mediate, but the tension was palpable, each friend struggling to communicate their feelings amidst the chaos. Just as the argument reached a peak, the door swung open, and the sage of flavors entered, her presence commanding immediate attention. The air shimmered with magic as she surveyed the table, her wise eyes glinting with understanding. Food is not just sustenance. It is a story waiting to be told, she proclaimed, her voice soothing yet firm. The friends fell silent, the weight of her words settling over them like a warm embrace. The sage encouraged them to share the stories behind their dishes, revealing the significance of their cultural heritage. As they began to share, the dishes came alive, revealing their true powers and the connections among friends. Alara spoke of her family's traditions, her voice trembling with vulnerability. While Finian opened up about his past loss, the fear of conflict that had haunted him. Leora's adventurous tales of Fay home enchanted them all, and Jasper, with his charm, bridged the gaps between their stories, fostering a sense of unity.